Hey, what's up? Jared Noble here. And I have a track that I'm working on. And I thought I kind of got to a point where I was, uh, uh, felt like I had enough there, but I thought it needed something a little bit extra uh, to kind of really spice it up and make it a little bit more interesting. And so sometimes we can get stuck in our production and not really know what to do or where to take it, like what the next step would be to kind of add something else to keep it uh, more interesting or kind of take it up to that next level. So I was actually um, thinking about a song that I was recording with a friend of mine, and I wanted to use some vocal samples from this recording that we did to see if that would kind of add in here. So my friend is uh, Lauren Grace, and we were recording this song for uh, 10 days that we have. Um, we weren't re actually recording it for 10 days. It's, the name of the song is 10 Days. So uh, I took some of the vocals out of that song, 10 Days, and I put it into here to see what, uh, what I could do with these vocal samples to kind of maybe spice up this track. And so uh, it's also Lauren's birthday, so shout out to Lauren for you today. Happy birthday. And uh, I'm going to add your vocals into this track now and see how it sounds, and then I'm going to show it to you, and you're going to love it because it's your birthday, and I'm doing this partly for you too, all right? So... Let me show you what this sounds like without any of the vocal stuff that we did, and then I'll show you what I'm doing with adding in these vocal samples to kind of spice it up. All right, so that's the track we have, and I, I knew we could do something more with it. So what I did was I grabbed these vocals that we had here, and uh, I'll play what some of them sound like. So we got these really long, sustained kind of notes, and there's a couple ways we can use these. So when we're doing vocal chops, uh, a really uh, useful way is to just take one, one vocal sound and toss it into a, a simpler instrument like this. Uh, or a sampler of any sort. And uh, I actually had to time stretch it a bit. So I have this this other, uh, so this is the, the new version before I dropped it in there because the, the note was a little too long. So here's the original note. But I wanted it to fit in this, in like one quarter note kind of space. So I shortened it up. So now we have it, it sounds a little bit, um, it sounds like it'll fit in time. So then I dropped that into this uh, sampler instrument and I was able to now pitch that around that one note. So I'm taking one note and we're playing it uh, in multiple keys. So then we have more of a melody that we can use. All right, so it adds a little bit of something extra to it to get that um, to get those that sound in there. And all we did was put it in a sampler instrument, and I'm compressing it a little bit. I should probably EQ it a little bit better. Um, and then I just have some reverb on it. So we use that, pitch it around, and we have now have a vocal melody that kind of makes things sound a little more interesting. And then I wanted to go in and, and add a little bit uh, of extra spice and flavor in this other kind of section here. And instead of just having these long sustained notes, because I, I dropped them in here a little bit, I thought it would be cooler if I did something more like an actual vocal chop. And so I'm taking individual notes and dropping them into a drum rack, and I'm able to play them back uh, and just these kind of one-shot notes. And so I have that set up now, and all I have to do is add some processing to it, get some reverb in there, maybe some delays, and we can add that and start chopping that over the beat too. And all I did for that was just going in here finding these cool little sections of her vocals where uh, it's maybe like the tail end of what she says. So you can see I'm just chopping out little, these little kind of inflections in her voice, and then we drop those into a drum rack, and now I can play around with those and add these over top of the beat. So we could play this track and start to play around with adding this kind of rhythmic um, sound to this, these long sustained kind of notes. Cool, 
cool. And then we could just play around with that and, you know, just play around with different ideas. So, you know, we can edit that and fix some timing issues in there. And then I would just play around with some different ideas. So let's, um, let's see what that sounds like if we add some reverb and some delay and some EQ and all that kind of good stuff. There's a great reverb to add in there. We can add something like that, maybe filter it out a bit. Get some delays on it, make it sound extra cool. Maybe shorten up the, feed the feedback, a little less dry wet. Now we have uh, these vocal chops that kind of make that drop a little bit more interesting. So we have these kind of more sustained vocal samples that we can lead into uh, from the from this kind of intro, I guess, section into more of the drop section, and then just chop it up and see what kind of rhythms that we can get out of that to make it sound more interesting. For today, I just wanted to share with you uh, some ideas on using vocal samples and chopping up vocals for your tracks and kind of spicing them up to make them more interesting. We can use a sampler instrument and play them across the keys, and we can use uh, uh, more of one-shot sample chops and actually play them more rhythmically to kind of spice up the track and add some flavor to things. So hope you got something out of that. If you did, drop a comment below and let me know what you, uh, what you liked best about that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're watching this on my YouTube channel. There's also, once you subscribe, there'll be that little bell thing. And so if you hit that bell, you'll be notified of when I update, uh, upload more videos to this, to my channel, all right? So thanks for stopping by and I'll see you again soon.